this tutorial you are going to need a blanket. I'm using the girly blanket from Ikea but you can use whichever blanket you like. Just make sure that it's got um, enough space for you to actually put your crochet hook through. You will need a darning needle, a crochet hook which is fairly pointed at the end so that you can get it through the fabric and then a chunky yarn in whichever colour you choose. Okay, so first of all you're going to take your blanket with the right side facing you and the wrong side facing away from you and what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and insert it into the corner of your blanket. It might be a bit more difficult in the corners because there's going to be more fabric there um, but you want to do it about a centimetre um, from the edge and you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through to the front and then you're going to just tie a knot in that end just to keep it nice and secure. What you're then going to do is um, hold the yarn however you hold it normally and insert your hook into that same space that you've just done. Yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through just to make our start. You're then going to pull up a loop uh, with your yarn. Um, and this loop is going to be about the distance that you want to space your uh, stitches apart. And here you're going to um, come across and insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through, and then grab the yarn and pull it through, and that makes your first stitch. You then pull up the yarn again, come across, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through and then grab the yarn and pull it through and that makes your next stitch and this is what you're simply going to do all the way along your blanket now it will depend on what look you're going for you might want to um, come further down with this stitch so you have more of a line here um, that's totally up to you but this is what you'll find the front to look like with the stitches that look like a V on the top and from the back it will just look like this. Now some people might prefer the stitches to look like this in which case you would just work from with the back side facing you. So continue that all the way along to the end of your blanket and I shall meet you back at the end to show you what to do uh, to tie off. Okay, so I've just come to the end of my blanket and um, as I found sort of at the beginning of the blanket, sometimes this last stitch to get through can be quite difficult, um, this side particular for some reason. So if that's the case, all you need to do is take your darning needle um, and then make a little hole and that should be much easier to go through with your crochet hook and it just goes straight in like that. And you're just going to finish this off in exactly the same way as you've been doing all the way along. But when you get to this section, all you need to do is yarn over and pull through. And then grab a pair of scissors and snip off your yarn. And then you can just pull it out. And then just pull tight on there just to make it uh, nice and secure. Now, uh, because we've got a seam along here, all I'm going to do with this end is grab a darning needle and sew it into the work. So I've just threaded up my uh, yarn and I'm just going to go right in the seam so the, the needle isn't actually coming out the other side either. Just come through and pull it into that seam and then you can just snip off the excess or sew it all in whichever you prefer. So once I've snipped that off, if I just pull on it, um, it just lets that seam go back into the actual blanket itself. So that is the edging. I'm now going to add my tassel to the very end of each corner. I shall show you how to make that now. To make your tassel, you're going to need a piece of card. I've cut out a piece of card which is three inches wide and five inches long. Um, whichever your length is, that's how long your tassel is going to be. So you can, you know, customise the measurements however you want. And what I also did is just put two little slits at the top of the um, rectangle and you'll see what that's for in just a moment. So first of all, you want to take your yarn and you want to lay it across the top of your board. 
um, and you're just going to actually snip that piece off. So I make it about double the width um, of the actual board itself and then overhang um, the same amount on each side or as close as possible that you can get and you're going to actually slip that um, yarn into those slits that we made just here. Now what you're going to do is take your yarn which is still attached to the ball and you're going to put the um, end at the bottom of your board and you're simply going to wrap the yarn around the board as many times as you want. So the more times you wrap around the board the thicker the tassel is going to be. I would recommend that you count the amount of times that you're wrapping the yarn around so that each of your tassels is going to be the same. So I'm going to do mine around 20 times. So mine's gone round 20 times and I'm going to finish off by snipping this piece of yarn down at the bottom of the card. Then what I'm going to do is just bunch the top um, of the threads together and then I'm going to take out the pieces and pull these to the top. Um, just make sure that they are the same and you're going to simply tie a knot in the very very top of your work. Just make sure that last thread doesn't come out. So tie a nice tight knot and do it again. So you're doing a double knot. Okay, now what you want to do is take your scissors and you're going to snip along here. I would recommend using smaller scissors but mine are downstairs and these are the ones I just have handy. So you just want to snip the pieces at the bottom of your card and then gently let that fall off the card like this. So obviously at the moment it's not very secure so we're going to want to wrap some yarn around the top of the tassel here so that it's um, more secure and it won't fall out all over the place. So for this you're going to need a long piece of yarn. I actually leave mine attached to the ball so that um, I can do it as big or as small as I want. Okay, so at this point you want to bring your yarn around your piece of work and you're going to tie a knot, leaving a longish end, you know, a good, good few inches. Pull it really nice and tight and then do a double knot. And then you're going to leave this end out and you're going to wrap your yarn around your tassel as much as you want. So I wanted mine quite bulky, um, so I'm just going to stop there. And you're going to take that original piece that you were just keeping out and make a knot in the end that you've just done, like so. So double knot. Always double knot to make sure it's nice and secure. And then the, the piece of yarn that's still attached to the ball, you're just going to snip off. And then we're going to take this on a darning needle and actually um, hide it in the, uh, in the actual tassel itself. So I've just threaded my darning needle. And I'm not going to bring this all the way up to the top just because I don't want us to be able to see that uh, thread uh, go all the way up there. So I'm just going to go a couple of threads up into the work and then pull it down and through. Oops, I've lost my thread. Make sure you don't do that. So I'm just going to take a second just to find that thread so I can pull it tight so it's not sticking out so much and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this other side as well. So pause the video, do that, hide those ends. You want to leave the very top ones free and I'm going to show you how to attach it to your work. So here's my tassel. I've trimmed it at the end just to make the ends look a bit more in line. And what I'm going to do now is take my crochet hook and I'm going to insert it into the very last stitch or the very corner stitch and just pull the yarn through. So nice and easy. And then I'm going to double knot this just here. 
So one and two. And then all that's left to do is for me to attach my darning needle and draw those pieces into the tassel just like before. So thread up your needle and then just go into the tassel and pull it through. And there it's hidden and then just do exactly the same for the other one. And there you have it, that is how to customise an IKEA blanket or any blanket that you choose. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time, bye!